already know all things sports and entertainment. I think it's time to have this conversation about if Coach Prime strategy is working. Now, Deion Sanders, who is the head coach of the Colorado Buffaloes, his team currently has a record of six wins and two losses. Uh, the two losses were to Nebraska, who has been sliding this year after that win. And Kansas State, they ended up losing to Kansas State. And um, what was the score? 28-31. That was a real close game. They could have won that game, honestly. So, in theory, Colorado could be 7-1 right now. But, um, you know, Shador, he's thrown for over 2,000 yards this season already. 2,591 to be exact. 21 touchdowns in the air six interceptions and also he got a uh, three touchdowns rushing but he has a uh he's rushed this year for minus 18 that's because you know he was taking all them sacks but uh and also travis hunter he's been doing this thing he's also been playing good on both ends of the ball and to me he should win the heisman trophy and i think uh, in a lot of people's eyes as far as player and now even shador is in the conversation um i remember when they got jordan seaton i believe his name young man name is freshman to kind of plug in because last year Shador was getting hit every game. He ended up getting hurt with the last couple of games. But this year, man, it's already been a success. Last year, they won three games. And now this year, they've won six games and really could have won seven games. Like I said, they almost could be seven and one. And on top of that, they're bowl eligible already. And, and I can see them winning at least two more games, if not two to three more games. And, um, you know, everybody was hard on them. You got people like Jason Whitlock that just constantly keeps making fun of Dion. Um, and listen, when you have your own media platform like they do, and you're constantly putting out things that Dion's constantly marketed himself, and he's a very charismatic, braggadocious coach, which we don't ever really see. I mean, Nick Saban, all them coaches are arrogant, but you know, y'all you, know what I mean. When it's a coach prime, somebody who he wear the jewelry and the shades, and you know, he look like a lot of us. It's going to cause a lot of a lot of friction in the college world, but we really got to ask ask the question: Is it is it really working? And I honestly believe that his plan is starting to work. Um, you know, even though win another game this year, it's already a success. And like I said, going to a bowl eligible, if you could increase your winnings by three games a season, you know what I mean. And well, Nick Nick Saban first two years Alabama was rough. Then he won the Natty, and I'm not saying that Coach Prime's going to win the Natty, but. If he can recruit blue chip players, also getting top players in a portal who's out there, and he gonna need a quarterback. I mean, Shador is gone. He he's gonna pretty much use up all his eligibility. Well, all his eligibility is gonna be gone. He'll actually be 23 in December, I believe. Um, so he's gonna have to get a blue chip quarterback. Honestly, you're gonna have to get you a quarterback that can really manage it. And you gotta have some star, superstar players out there outside the quarterback, but. Next year, we'll really see, you know, I don't be surprised if he leaves and uh, on a high note, if they win nine to 10 games, in my opinion, he leaves and he goes for a bigger job. But you really can't say it was a failure because look how much revenue and exposure he brought them, just like how he did at Jackson State. Um, but yeah, man, at this point, we got to give credit when credit is due. When he loses, people make constantly make fun of him and put out videos. And look, you can be critical when you lose him, but when you win, and you got to get the same amount of praise. So Salute to Coach Prime and the Colorado staff. Um, I know he got Warren Sapp out there as well. You know, so it looks like things are finally starting to click for the Colorado Buffaloes. But I just want to get my quick thoughts thoughts about this. Let me know y'all opinion. Do y'all think it's working? Do y'all think he just, he got lucky? Do y'all think he's going to stay at Colorado, leave next year? Let me know below.